This checkpoint video tutorial explains how to use the R80 and higher smart console to configure the intrusion prevention system or IPS software blade. I'm Jake, the checkpoint admin. Today, we are working with the IPS settings in the threat prevention policy. Let's get started. Here's the network deployment. We are upgrading the Gaia R77.30 security management server to R80 and it manages an R77.30 gateway. Smart Console is running on a Windows PC. We upgraded the management server to R80 and I can still use the same IPS profiles that we had in R77.30. Let's show you where to configure the IPS settings. In R77.30, to configure the IPS profiles, rules and protections, I use the IPS tab. And I use the Gateway Properties window to select the IPS profile for a gateway. In R80, IPS is a separate layer in the Threat Prevention Policy. Click the Security Policies view and expand Threat Prevention. Here are the IPS rules. I use the Action column to select the IPS profile for a gateway. To show these profiles, I go to the Threat Tools section and click Profiles. Each threat prevention profile contains the settings for these threat prevention software blades. IPS, Anti-Bot, Anti-Virus, and Threat Emulation. Starting in R80, the out-of-the-box threat prevention profiles are basic, optimized, and strict. Now let's talk about adding a new IPS gateway to an R80 management server. To start, I edit the gateway properties and enable the IPS software blade. Click OK to use the IPS settings in the threat prevention profile. We close the gateway properties window, click security policies, and look! Smart Console automatically creates a new IPS rule for the branch gateway. Now, let's create a new IPS profile for the branch office. We only need to enable the IPS blade. Set the performance impact to low or lower and click OK. We go back to the IPS rules. In the action column, I select the branch office profile. Now, install the policy. The branch office uses a pre-R80 gateway, so we need to install the access control policy for IPS. Done! The branch office firewall enforces the IPS protections to secure the network. Today, we saw that when you upgrade to R80 Smart Console, the IPS rules are part of the threat prevention policy. For new installations, we showed you how to create a new profile for IPS and how to use rules to assign the profile to a gateway. Thanks for watching and have a great day.